I've been testing this out. This stuff is so nice. So this is a BB cream um, skin tone balancer. So this is not a foundation. This is not going to give you full coverage like a foundation is going to. So don't expect that. But this does tint your skin and just give you an even like, just like a natural finish. And I think that's really nice. That's the kind of makeup look I've been going for, especially since it's the summertime. I like my makeup to be a little more natural. So I just like pump that right onto my face and then I use my dirty sponge. You guys can use a clean one if you want, but I'm just gonna use my dirty one since that's what I have right here. And I'm just going to blend that into my skin. Also, I tried to do braids for y'all since I'm doing a makeup look. I wanted my hair to be out of my face and I just really suck at braids. So if you want to judge me, go right ahead because I'm also judging me. My sense of humor is like really sarcastic and a lot of people don't get it or realize I'm joking half the time. So I hope you guys realize that most of the time when I make comments, I am joking. I'm just gonna blend that all over. And you also wanna make sure that you go down your neck just a little bit, just to make sure it's all blended. Um, some people go as far as like doing their ears. I am not gonna do all that. This is really cool. It has six uh, hyaluronic acids in it. So that's awesome. I didn't know that. And I'm using this shade light beige on here. Just for reference in case you guys need help. If you can like see if my tone, my skin tone kind of matches yours at all. I'm wearing shade one. Just going to blend that in a little bit more. All right, so now that I've got that done with, oh, you know what I think I lost? It was my mascara I was gonna show you guys. I have a mess. Sorry, you guys have to be here for that. Okay, so I'm going to, I wish I could go back and show you guys this product. Sally, I can't, but this is a part of the first thing I shared with you guys. It's a part of the trio. This is a contour and highlight stick. I'm going to just take the contour end, and I'm actually going to just use my finger to dab that on with, just because I'm not positive on the color. Oh, I think that'll work. So I like to just take it and I like to put a little bit up on my forehead just to make it look like got a little bit of color on me. Don't forget to blend our double chin chins away, you guys. Unless you like double chin, that's cool too. So I'm just going to put some of that there. Over here. Up on my forehead again. I'm not a professional, you guys, so if you have a different way and you think it would be better for me, I would love to know. So you can feel free to message me on Instagram or whatever and let me know your makeup techniques. I'm always down for learning some more. Some people do their nose. I've never done my nose. Should I try it out? Might as well. So you just take a little bit on the side like that. Oop, I think I did too much. Okay, then I'm going to go back to my dirty sponge, and I'm going to blend all this out. And I like to kind of like pat and like rub up kind of. I like to try to keep everything as high as possible. If you blend low, you might end up making your face look um, pulled down instead of lifted, if that makes any sense to you. So I always try to make sure that I'm blending everything up when I do it. I actually really like this color in this brown, in this uh, contour. This is actually a really nice shade. Got my mirror right here. I like that. Supernatural, you guys. 
Another thing is I love cream products because cream products are super easy to build. Like if you feel like you want more, it's super easy to like build it and give yourself more definition or more coverage, whatever kind of cream product you're using. So I love creams and they also look a lot more natural. Powder products can, um, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is like a fact, but with me, whenever I try to use powder products, I feel like they like settle into my lines and everything and make me look a little bit older. So I just really like to use cream products. I'm also going to, oh yeah, cool tip for you guys. You can take bronzers and contour products and use them as eyeshadow. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just gonna put it right above my crease. I have, what kind of eye is that called? Um. I have hooded eyes, that's what they're called. So it's hard for me to do like eyeliner and eyeshadow looks because like if I'm looking right at you, I have no like lid. So I put everything higher than the normal like placing would be for stuff. So I would drag that almost all the way up to my brow bone. So I really like that contour actually. And then on the other end is the highlight. Looks like this. It's like a nice rose gold color. So kind of peachy. I'm just going to, again, use my finger to tap that on. Kind of like that. And I like to just, again, like put everything kind of as high as I possibly can. I like to put a little on the tip of my nose. I like to put some right in between my eyes right here. I don't see many people highlighting right there when I watch tutorials and stuff, but I like to put makeup <laughs> right there. I don't know why, I just like the way it looks. And then I always see people put it right on their cupid's bow, so I'm also going to do that. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a little bit up here just to bright, like make the center of my face a little brighter. You can see my forehead wrinkles, that's cool. And then I also usually take whatever highlight I'm using and I use that in like the corner of my eyes and a little bit on my lid just to brighten all of that up as well. And I'm totally using, if you guys have a brush or if you want to take, like if you have a clean sponge, you can totally take your sponge in there. You can apply it directly to your face if you want. I use my finger for pretty much everything. Don't worry, I wash my hands quite a bit. <laughs> but you'll, you all can do this however you want to. And I also like to put some right over here. So that's that. Let me grab my mascara that fell off. I'm also going to take you guys with me, actually. Okay. We're all good. Okay. Got my mascara. So let me put some of this on for you guys, just so I don't have to look dead anymore. 